Hey curl friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Proud Maine. It's your girl Ava, your loyal curl friend. And in today's video guys, this one's a little bit tough for me. I am shedding. I am shedding. I'm losing my hair. Um, and I'm out here suffering a little bit, but I haven't panicked. I'm not in panic mode. I am in recovery mode right now, and I'm gonna share with you this DIY recipe that I like to use when I experience shedding. I'm not 100% sure why this is happening to me, but sometimes it does happen. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna share with you um, one of the remedies that I like to use. Um, as you can see right now, my hair is old and dirty. Um, I did detangle it because I intend on washing my hair and then doing a henna treatment. And then I'm going to go in with this um, DIY hair loss treatment that again, I will be sharing with you guys in just a few seconds. Um, so you can see my hair, it just looks a little bit lackluster. It's not as full as it usually is. It feels a little bit brittle and a little bit weaker. Again, guys, I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but when my hair tends to feel like this, I listen to my hair and I know something is up and I immediately try to just rectify the situation. But yeah, like I said, I've been shedding for the last, I wanna say two or three weeks now. I've been noticing um, weekly when I wash my hair that it's shedding more than normal and uh, yeah, that's just not cool. Like who wants to be shedding? And I'm gonna insert a picture for you guys so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. It might not look like a lot of hair to you guys, but for me, it's like three to four times the amount of hair that I'm losing on a weekly basis. Not to mention the strands that I found on the floor, in my bed, like just about everywhere, you name it my hair is shedding and I know it's not breakage because you know the ends of my hair aren't falling out like these are long strands guys that are falling out okay and they're coming out in bulk like my hair will be up in a high bun all day every day and for some reason I'm still shedding and I'm finding hair on the ground like it's crazy so this DIY recipe that I'm about to show you guys, I intend on using this for the next little while and applying this to my hair um, every two to three days um, minimum um, just to get the optimal results. So yeah, stick with me if you want this remedy. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first ingredient is mint leaves. This is one of the highest sources of carotene and antioxidant. It offers a natural antimicrobial and antifungal properties that help treat dandruff and other scalp issues. It also contains menthol, guys. The menthol will encourage um, blood flow and that's why it's so beneficial for treating hair loss. Our next ingredient is rosemary. We all know rosemary is also great for uh, blood circulation and reducing hair loss. It's used to treat alopecia and scalp issues. Our next ingredient is onion. When added to the hair and scalp, onion juice can provide extra sulfur to support strong and thick hair, thus preventing hair loss and promoting hair growth. Our final ingredient is aloe, which contains vitamin A, C, E, and all of these vitamins contribute to cell turnover, promoting healthy cell growth and shiny hair. So the first thing that you want to do is boil a pot of water on medium to medium low heat and then you want to proceed to adding your ingredients one by one. So as you can see, I started off with the rosemary and then I added my mint leaves. And then I'm going to add some aloe. I didn't add the whole plant. Um, I just added the top half of it. And then you want to give that a stir and let this um, boil or steep or brew um, for about 20 minutes. So then I'm going to proceed to the second part, which is blending up my onions. As you can see, I added a little bit of water to it just to just so that it can blend a little bit easier and I wanna get this as smooth as possible. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and strain this. I'm using just a strainer that I found. It's actually for the sink, but we had a new extra one. So I thought it would be great to use as a strainer. So I'm just gonna pour in that onion and I'm going to strain out the juices. Now I chose not to boil the onions because I wanted um, the benefits of the onions to remain intact and I didn't want to um, interfere with that. Um, I find it more potent this way so um, yeah, I just it's just my preference. But if you guys want to boil everything all together, you can certainly do that. But again, this is just my preference. I like to do this um, separately. So this is what it looks like. It's lump-free, clump-free, and it's a smooth liquid um, consistency, which is exactly what you want. And with the paste, um, you can add some coconut oil or castor oil and apply directly to your scalp and rinse that off. So guys, after about 20 minutes, this is what we're looking at. Uh, this is what the mixture is looking like. You can see that the ingredients have wilted down, um, the leaves have fallen off, and I'm just going to allow that to cool. And then once it's cooled, I will transfer it to this bottle. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Um, super rich and beautiful color. And then I'm going to add my onion juice to it. And that's pretty much it. You want to give that a nice shake and you can store this in your fridge for up to a week and you can store it in your freezer for up to a month which I will be doing because I had some extra and then I'm going to add some to my spray bottle as well and I'm going to apply that directly to my hair after my henna hair mask is rinsed out and I'm going to use this as a leave-in. So yeah guys that's the recipe easy peasy lemon squeezy minus the lemons. I definitely hope that you guys give this a try and let me know your results. Comment down below. Let me know if it worked for you. And I'll keep you guys posted on my hair shedding um, progress. And I'll see you in another one. In the meantime, in between time, you grow girl. Yes. Mm -hmm.